Hey guys, it's John. So today we're going to take a look at another display, this time inside of my vintage Star Wars case. I've got other vintage in different areas, but this is the one where I've got some scenes and different characters set up, and we'll open this up so you can get a better view. And it's not all vintage. I mean, there's some modern comparisons and things in here too. So... This here is my Hoth display. I really liked Hoth growing up. I thought Empire Strikes Back was like the greatest movie of the three growing up. I mean, I must have... When we got the VHS tapes, man, I watched Star Wars at least once a week, if not every single day. And Empire was high on the list to watch over and over and over again, especially this Hoth battle scene. Sometimes I would watch the Hoth battle and then rewind the tape and watch the Hoth battle again. And then rewind the tape and watch the Hoth battle again. It was like that something about Hoth. And I know there's a lot of you out there that agree. There's just something about that battle scene. That whole scenario that it's unlike anything else we've ever seen in cinema history. I, I can't say it enough. I mean, it's I just, it gripped me the moment I saw it and... It's been with me ever since as one of my favorite battles. I don't, I don't know why either. <laughs> I can't really pinpoint it. But this AT-AT is my original AT-AT. Yes, it has the chin guns. And inside, you can kind of see them, is my original AT-AT driver. Extremely loose. He It will just fall. His legs and arms just flop all over the place. He's really loose. But, um... As a child, you know, in the early 80s there, I always wanted an AT, at Never got one. My father, my parents were like, this thing is way too expensive. You can't have him. Battery cover case is still intact. <laughs> this thing still works last I knew. Chin guns move, it lights up. But yeah, they said I couldn't have him because he was too expensive. But then... I mean, I think, I always say it was my 18th birthday, but I'm not 100% sure. It could have been 16, 17, or 18, somewhere in that range. I came downstairs for my birthday, and on the table was a package gift wrapped. And this was my gag gift. The real gift, I don't even remember what it was. But it, he, my dad had a real gift for me that year. And this was the gag gift. I opened it up and it was an ad at. He found it a KB Toys on clearance and he said since you always wanted it as a kid, I thought it would be funny that you finally get one now when you when you're totally out of these things and you're not into it anymore. And cuz I had been driving my car, I'd been, you know, girls were coming over all the time. I was out and about partying, doing all kinds of things and toys were the last thing on my mind at that point. But little did he know that this one gift was so cool and so awesome that it got me to go in the closet, dig out all my old Star Wars, He-Man, you know, everything I had in the closet, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and it got me right back into toys. And my friend Nofrio and I started our own business and it was wheeling and dealing, selling toys, finding toys. So he kickstarted the habit again without his intention being that you know <laughs> and then yeah in the snow speeder is my original you can see him in there my original x-wing pilot luke and he is also extremely loose he'll flop around and just like go you know won't stand up so he's in the cockpit and yeah this is the original snow speeder from what i had when i was a kid the only thing it's missing is the tow cable i probably lost that immediately but somehow held on to these things isn't that amazing? I, I, I mean, those are the second most lost pieces, you know. And last I checked, when I put it in here, that did work. I had I had checked it. These light up and everything. It was cool. Got all these figures down here. Yeah, I think that's my original Luke. The Han and Leia, I'm not sure of. I've got three or four of them. I don't remember if the original went in the cabinet or not. Got the Hoth Chewie from a later set. He's you know that one that came out later on I, I wanted to put a vintage one in here I mean I've got plenty but um there's there's Chewbacca's in every single scene you know <laughs> so there's 
plenty of Chewbacca's around. But I thought because he's covered in snow and I have him, it'd be cool to just put him in the Hoth scene. And that's a take apart 3PO sensor scope R2, of course. I think this commander back there is my original commander and the one up front is a more, oh, I just killed Luke. His lightsaber fell off too. And then the original snow trooper is in here. This is what I mean by loose guys. This is how my Luke X-Wing and my AT-AT driver that are in here are. They're just like totally floppy. That's how much I played with these guys. And uh, that's one of my original snowtroopers. A couple more. This one's original. And one of these. Might be all three of these. And then I've picked up a bunch more throughout the years, including this one that has the cape. I got him later in life because I didn't have any of the capes. So I had to get one complete just to have in there. And these two AT-AT drivers came later on. But that is my original gun that went with the super floppy one. And then I've got a modern, highly articulated, that um, just to compare, and same with this highly articulated snow trooper, just to compare them. And then my original Wampas back there, it's all yellow. And then Chris Perillo, really nice of him. Before I left Seattle, he gave me a pristine white Wampa. So that was really nice of him. Good going away gift. And I've got my original Tauntaun. Yeah, his reins are a little bit broken there, but not bad. And then I've got some of those backpacks from the accessory kit. And my original Rebel guy's back there. I remember that because he, uh, he has to stand on a stand. He's a little loose. And then that's my original FX-7. And I don't honestly remember which one is my original of the medical droid. 21B. It's one of those three, but I do have the, the, that one's got the implement, the little thing that came with it. And that's the reissue Probot. I don't think that's the original one. I think that was the reissue in the 90s. I have to get Luke's lightsaber and put him back together there. But see how loose he is? That's why he fell over. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. There's my Hoth display, the expanded version. <laughs> If you were on Twitter, there's a short version for Twitter. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that rundown memory lane as I talked about each and every single one of these things that are in here. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.